You may have noticed my new um, weight I had hanging on my uh, lead pot last video. After watching the Starkin videos um, and seeing he had a piece of lead, you know, hanging around, you know, behind this handle. Um, look, it appeared to be a, a new pot, very well <laughs> maintained. Uh, I thought, well, you know, that's a pretty good idea. I had been um, running these behind it. And I forget, is it Charlie has this? Plus a old um, spiraled handle from like a wood stove? I can't remember. Uh, it was added eh, an extra two ounces, which surprisingly helped um, a fair amount. The handle was just shy of three. So, what? Total just shy of five ounces. And I didn't think to measure this before I did the drilling, but it is just shy of a pound. So, um, yeah, a little over a pound with the handle. Um, yeah, uh, what did I use here? Um, seven eighths. Seven eighths Forstner bit. Start with that because you get a nice, you know, pointy center uh, it's basically measured down an inch from this edge it's about two inches from this edge um, so it's not hanging below the bracket it's actually up above it just a touch so it doesn't obstruct view and you know that kind of thing next I took a, um, a 3 8 drill bit and use that center to drill all the way through and then on the back, um, you have this nut to um, <laughs> make up for. I just kind of sunk it. Uh, so a Y bit was the closest I had to that diameter. Just drilled enough for it to um, go in. And what are those castle nuts? I can't remember what they're called anymore. Well, no, they're not. Uh, <laughs> wrong implement of destruction. <laughs> I used to know what those things were called. I used to deal with them every day. But um, they do have that little flat edge on, on the back of the base. And um, this just butts up against that. So it's actually held off that bracket by that very thin 32nd, 16th of an inch. So there's an air, basically an air gap. Um, this set at 950 for quite a while um it already looked like that it's not gonna melt <laughs> um but anyway yeah start out you get a nice center drill all the way through using that so this is centered of that and then use that hole to center this up and kind of think and um what i do to i countersunk just enough where just that base sticks in. I mean, you can adjust it if you want more threads. Uh, you know, gripping. It's actually slightly better than this. Oh, uh, let's see. The thickness on this was just over three quarters of an inch. This it is. This isn't quite all the way down, but yeah, they're already a little thinner. And you can adjust, you know, whatever you want. This is just ever so, a little bit bigger, but uh, you know, it's hanging on that and on the top of this, so it's not going anywhere. Um, but what it rounds out is pretty much same width it did flare it out just a touch there so yeah um 20 mil is too small this is a little over 20 mil um so if you got 21 mil um that'll also do it uh, but yeah um i backed out yeah 
the pot. Um, <laughs> back there, been out. Um, uh, well, three full turns. I did try it at full four or bleh, four full turns, and it had a very slow drip. And it's a little crusty. It needs to be polished up. It's you know that would probably stop it. Um, huge, huge difference. Uh, at your typical you know turn and a quarter. Turn and a half, uh, which I find tends to be a pretty good pour rate. It didn't drip. Um, once I get, you know, that was a full pot. Um, <laughs> almost to the brim. So, yeah, uh, I was showing it no favors. And it made a huge difference. Didn't seem to really make, you know, tire me out too bad using it. Um, but you could use a half pounder. <laughs> uh, you put it this way. If you're afraid of heat, you know, you whip it around like this. And uh, it's about the same width. Or that would give you a little more room for your glove. However you feel like if if this is something that you think would uh you know benefit you um <laughs> it was plenty easy to do you throw it on my drill press so everything was you know straight and square and uh, just took a few minutes and uh yeah <laughs> it's really helping you uh pretty much leak free now with with you know normal adjustments for flow rate i mean who brank who who backs it out three full turns really uh that's kind of ridiculous <laughs> for me two is two two flows way too fast so yeah um something to throw out there for you that like i said i learned something a little different i never thought to put lead there i always thought you know it's gonna be too hot <coughs> And then I see that guy, he just got a piece bent around it, and, uh, well, I guess not. And, well, I found no, it, there's not enough heat generated through that, um, bracket to affect it. Alright, well, I'll leave you with that. Have a good one. God bless. See ya.